Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here we are covering Uber Eats clone app. Okay. So in the last couple of videos we were able to create a auth service here which is very much functional. I have added couple of more features on the auth service like adding the permissions, self updating the users, whatever the required APIs we need. So this is the auth service which is exposing the REST interface. Now initially we talked about using gateway then we come up to the proxy so now here we are going to talk about couple of concepts which are really useful first of all we'll talk about proxy or the gateway i mean sometimes people use proxy what is the gateway what is load balancer you might have heard about these terms when you talk about any architecture right the, the real major differences it's not like okay you just put a load balancer and you are happy and this will work what is the use of proxy how it works why you just use a proxy why not gateway okay so here we need to understand the basic differences in all of these concepts so proxy proxy can act in, act in two different ways one is a forward proxy and another is a reverse proxy currently we don't see a use case of forward proxy but for understanding and knowledge i will explain you Let's see what is forward proxy. So there are two type of proxies forward and reverse. So let's say this is a client client is coming from let's say uh, USA. This is the client using the, maybe a desktop client or web client that is using uh, his laptop and opening a website. So I know the client IP address in the request. So what this forward proxy will do. Let's say if I put a forward proxy here. So what this forward proxy will do, the request will go to the forward proxy and then forward flux proxy will mask the client. That means when the request is going to let's say this particular server and if the service wants to know is that who is the client, then you won't be able to get the client because for this service the client is the forward proxy server, not the actual client. So this client is inside a USA and forward proxy server let's say I have in India right so for this service this is a forward proxy because I actually did the masking of this client the IP address of this client as something like this and what I did I just put a forward proxy on top of that so that the, the receiving server won't know who is the actual client for the receiving service the actual client client is only this forward proxy server which is uh, location is India. So this is forward proxy. It has its own use case and here we don't see a use case in our case in our uh, Uber Eats clone. We are not using it. We are using reverse proxy. And what is reverse proxy? Just opposite of it, right? What I mean to say is in this particular case, the client won't know who is the receiving server, right? Because here we are going to create an Nginx. Nginx is an example of a reverse proxy, right? Let's say I am not writing a Nest.js service uh, or Node.js service sitting here. I'm going to build a service uh, later in the same series. Let's say I'm just creating a Nest.js proxy server, proxy app, right? What this Nest.js proxy app will do is whenever the request is coming, it, it will sit inside. Whenever the request is coming from the client, client knows this endpoint only. Okay, this has an address of let's say abc.myapp.com API is. But the actual receiving server can be something else. Hello.myapp.com API v1. Right, in this particular case the receiving the, the client doesn't know who is the actual receiver of the request and responding to it so this is the reverse proxy we are building here so we also need to build the same here the client can be react anything can be coming from anywhere this nest.js proxy app i mean this service can be anywhere okay let's say this is the location is india but this proxy server this actual service can be anywhere in the in the world it can be in the docker container can be lambda can be anywhere so the the exam the use of proxy here is just to proxy the client request to the right server which client should not be aware 
client doesn't know where the request is going so this is the real difference when we talk about forward proxy and reverse proxy in uber it's clone we are going to create a reverse proxy that means we are going to expose a cent uh, centralized endpoint client will come to this endpoint and will say okay I, I want to access api v1 user client actually doesn't know where the user service really exists this proxy service proxy service know where to forward the request so it is actually forwarding the request so if you have used nginx on your local setup using docker so you all, all already know how we can create a local subdomain on the local host and can create a multiple apps right so here this is the example of reverse proxy now why we are just creating talking about proxy why can't we build a gateway yes you can here instead of uh, just using the proxy you can build a node.js gateway now when it comes to gateway let's forget about proxy for now we are not talking about it now node.js gateway so first of all the gateway is not something just a simple piece of code gateway has a lot more responsibilities proxying just okay is forwarding the request that's all that's what proxy does maybe you can just do some authentication authorization on top of that but this is what it does right but when it comes to the api gateway api gateway has lot more to do with your request so it has a more responsibilities so here if you are just creating a let's say i'm creating a API gateway here if you ha have, have heard about okay aws api gateway kong apz these are actually some enterprise solutions which are already out there for microservices solutions to just use them and play with them let's say if i'm building an api gateway which obviously i cannot i can just create a minimal miniature version of it but api gateway does a lot of things on top of that so what all things it the api gateway is doing authentication and authorization because the services won't do it because every service first of all these service cannot be accessed directly you need to talk to the api gateway for it and all the authentication and authorization logic is left here it can do the response catching, caching it can do the retry rate limit is the basic example balancing ip wide thing ip blocking let's say you can allow only particular range let's say this application is just uh, your own app which is being used in your enterprise and you don't want anyone else coming and accessing this api gateway so you can do the ip whitelisting you can actually do a lot of things logging rate limiting okay because the use of api gateway is to prevent unnecessary requests coming from somewhere in the world right so you can do a lot of things rate limiting load balancing logging tracing correlation ip whitelisting centralized logging you can do here and authentication and authorization also you can place here before the request is sent to the client that is the api gateway and for that you build the miniature version or you use the existing solutions like apg kong i, I mean there are many which i can recall i use the api aws api gateway which does some part of it i mean most of it now if you talk about uh, what is the simple load balancer right what is a what simple load balancer does load balancer only is actually balancing the traffic okay that is the only because here when it talks about load balancer what it does it is nothing to do with the proxy nothing to do with the gateway it balances your request somewhat uh, load balancer also does the routing but that is on top of that but there are multiple services and you put the uh, application load balancer on top of it that means your request will be routed to one of the service based on the based on the traffic rules or routing rules but these service all services are same instance of the same i mean uh, multiple instance of a same service so load balancer will know okay based on the traffic coming i can route to this service which is the same instance the logic it is executing is same it's not like a different services are sitting behind the load balancer if i talk about this uh, as a load and this will do that thing so here load balancer won't work for us we can either use gateway or we can either use proxy okay so uh, load balancer only route the traffic and balances the traffic uh, coming to 
this in this particular case also it also act as a reverse proxy because client doesn't know where the actual request is going to end in most of the cases when you talk about the AW solutions you cannot even access these services directly these are like in the VPC this is in the public domain and these services are in the private subnet that means you cannot hit this service directly only this load balancer is allowed to talk to the service that's also uh, another advantage of having this kind of solution that you put the load balancer in the public subnet so you can access only the load balancer URL but all the services are in the private you cannot even access them so in that case you can put uh, authentication authorization logic here that is with the EVI gateway load balancer will just uh, balance the traffic okay so what is our use case here we are going to build a simple reverse proxy logic in the next GS. this is what we are going to change reverse proxy with the next yes which will see okay which service you are trying to hit and i will just forward the request there we won't be able to we will see if we can add the authentication and authorization logic here otherwise it's just of forwarding your request to this particular service that particular service and that so in that case your front end and client doesn't need to aware about multiple service endpoints these service interface are hidden behind this reverse proxy okay so this is all about uh, our next topic which we are going to talk about after completing the auth service for Uber Eats clone.